Sure, everyone's favorite character, it seems like. Um, when the Talos created him, um, they just used a bunch of pieces from the trash can. If you remember that, they just took a bunch of stuff from the trash can, they put a bunch of pocket crap for his brains, and then he came to life somehow, which is very funny. But when they get to Earth, Gurr is disguised like a dog, and you see the, like, if you watch the first episode before you've seen any other pictures or anything, then you would know that it's like a beagle-like dog. But then they chain, but when he gets out of it, he's a green dog. It's just so random. But, um, this Gurr head is basically the same from the series one Gurr action figure. Um, I don't know, I do not know why. Uh, for, well, actually, I do know why they reuse him. But, uh, and the body is the same from the puppy dog Gurr action figure. But, uh, well, the body, I think, is from the, uh, same thing. It's, it's head flipped down Gurr. And, um, only that Gurr is screaming. Which is insane, but it's still cool. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty cool uh, little figure. He has a stand, but I think the whole it's kind of very not amazing spot. It's right there. Can you see? Did you? Can you believe that? Anyway, uh, he has a stand, but mine he doesn't fit onto it very well. So when you put him on it, I'm trying to get him on it. Mine, he's floating off of it. Because the whole up girl's butt is very messed up on mine. So I just... But he's easily balanced without his stand. Every single Zen action figure, like this one right here, but not this one, um, they're all balanced. Almost. I think all of them are, but I'm not sure. Anyways, Gurr is a really neat outfit, the same arms and hood flip down, even though his, um, nose is not colored. Oh, I got some stuff. Crap, hold on, I got stuff stuck on it. <sighs> hold on a sec, I got stuff already on this. I got it on Wednesday, but I wasn't here to open it then, because, uh, I was in Washington, D.C., and I had a blast. But there's Gurr. His head does open up, but I haven't got it to open it up, and I'm not going to destroy his head to open it up. On the Series 1, I should figure it's the same head, by the way, but on Series 1, his head was easily openable, but I can't get mine to open. I've seen reviews of it where they say, hey, Gurr's head is open, it. you can open it and put stuff in it, but I haven't been able to open it. They didn't even show a picture of it opened. So I'm not going to believe them until they, they show a picture. But, well, there's Gurr, and now time to move on to the strange but amazing accessories. Number one on the list of spooky accessories, this is my favorite, it's the Spooky Chihuahua, or Madness Dog, whatever you want to call it, um, he's very neat, and, uh, he's very big, stitches on the eyes, no mouth, just a nose, um, giant eyes, tiny body, very neat accessory. The next one, my second favorite, is the Mutant Vermin, oh, Mutant Vermin from Mortos to Soul Stealer. Crap. He's uh, got these big red eyes, these t tiny teeth on top, and five on the bottom. He's drooling. He's got nubby little legs and a zigzag uh, Professor Membrane hair-looking tail, and three little hairs on the top, and he's got little ears. And um, it's mostly, I think it would be a better accessory for this Zim, since that's what he was wearing when he was throwing them into people's houses, but you get the idea. Next is my third favorite. It's the Obedience Controller for Gurr from the episode, um, Gurr Goes Crazy and stuff. I think it should have came with an alien zoom, but 
still a pretty good accessory. It's blue because obviously Gur is blue. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they have a red one for a red Gur, but and well, my least favorite accessory, but still cool, a lunch tray. Only filled with peas so you can like put like the cupcakes or the hot dogs or donuts from the other action figures on there. And yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed my review of Invader Zim, Old Man Zim, the Hooded Gur, Spooky Da, Spooky Chihuahua, the lunch empty, almost empty lunch tray, the Mutant Vermin, and the Obedience Controller. Hopefully, I'll be able to do another amazing Invader Zim review soon. So, uh, keep if you have any suggestions of awesome Invader Zim action figures for me. Just let me know. Uh, series 1, it might be not until summer until I get any of those. But I plan to get Angry Zim and Goofy Gur. There's some pictures at the end during the credits. If you want to see what I'm talking about. Goofy Gur eyes are the same head. It's just like the uh, robot. The, only his tongue is sticking out. It, one, this eye right here is like an, a sideways oval. And that one's like a upper oval. And the rest is the same. Um, Angry Zim, uh, his eyes are like down and he's got like, his lower lip has little teeth sticking out, which is cool. The rest is the same. Um, I plan to get them soon and, uh, Invader, more Invader Zim action figure reviews coming soon. This is not mine, so unless my brother wants me to do one, um, I'm not going to make a review of him. But, uh, yeah. Uh, see you soon.